Like you don't. That's the warning. You want to stay like between orange and green. Well, I mean, I know I'm like. <laughs> I'm just saying, like. I'm just explaining. No, because uh, some of them are like boosted, you know. So, oh yeah. So that's why I'm asking. Like, is the orange okay? Mine. It... So what I saw from this is that DK has an aerial grab, which is really funny. So yeah. So we have put a limit on it because it is an infinite. <laughs> um, so it's two grabs, but we had a bit of stipulations on it, or rather a bit of argument about it. Ooh, mid dude, bracket. DSS is sick in this game. This is, this is ZSS good. is borderline broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, you choose, you choose, uh, yeah. He's you, really good, but he's playing a broken game. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to cut you I, off. My bad. It's all good. So how this? So what we? The rule that we've given this uh, DK is that you only do two grabs, two chain grabs. So it's the first initial uh, cargo up throw, and the second one in the air, and that's the last one. After that. Yeah. After that, they can grab, but they have to do another grab to end the combo. Yeah. That's what we have. Uh, and then follow people. up with an area I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Instead of re-grabbing. Okay. Yeah. And then the only, and then when that resets, I have like after they get back into a position where they can refresh all of their defensive armor. Okay. But um, ZSS is very oppressive in this game. There's a lot of things that ZSS can do. Like for example, every Zare can be canceled with an air dodge. Oh, uh, so you can wave dash back. So what you can do is you can uh, jump, air dodge, and then immediately uh, throw your Zare. Oh. And it, it just gives you a boost in the air. So it works the other way around as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of goofy. It can be goofy a lot of times. Uh, Uxa doesn't use it a whole lot, but I think it's a really good uh, tool that I told it to use more because it does so much in neutral. Right. But other than that, like ZSS, gameplay-wise, very oppressive. Uh, can do a lot of things to oppress you and just hold you down and she does such an amazing job of chasing you down on top of that every character's basically got their moves buffed to a certain degree yeah meaning that like all of them just come out way quicker which i personally don't think zss needed that yeah, <laughs> but here we are um donkey kong however is also another really busted character we can't really see it right now because he's kind of oh getting Lord. yeah he's kind of getting he got ZSS. he got better character yeah um donkey kong has an uh, ironically, an amazing good aerial game now. Mm -hmm. So up air just combos into an oblivion. Back yeah. air is just phenomenal, both as like a spacing tool and as a co-option. Fair is, I mean, it's fair. Like what yeah. you want from it. It's, it's a big <laughs> swiping move. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, you also have a, just a, a little bit of differences with the moves. Again, cargo throw in the air. You now can, when you do ground pound, like the ground slaps, mm -hmm. you can cancel after one instead of holding okay. it for like a couple seconds. So it can lead to a, like good neutral interactions, and it's just a really good put. Uh, it's a combo starter as well. It's a combo starter. It uh, combos into a bunch of other moves, and it does an amazing shield pressure. Okay. So I don't see Minmain use it a whole lot because I'm pretty sure Minmain is just trying to figure out who else he wants to play because <laughs> yeah. we we the HDR community as a whole decided to just ban Minmain. Um. And other than that, like. Oh, another cool thing is that you can cancel your uppy off ledge. With, with DK uh, or with DK. DSS. Oh. So, Ooh, and wow. then you can come back to the ledge. So you can go from doing like your uppy mm -hmm. and then to like the flat uppy like in the air. Yeah. And then come back onto ledge and then do the, the, the standing uppy. Yeah. The... It's, it's a, it's, it looks really weird, but it's really good. What I did notice is the SS's shield pressure is kind of nuts simply because down air bounces. I'm not sure if it bounces on shield, but... But, yeah. the, but the fact that you can just bounce on his shield is insane. It's, it's pretty much Bayo flip kick. Oh, yeah. Smash four flip kick, and then just like, oh. So that every dive down down or like that now mm -hmm. works like that. Especially if it pogoed off of a shield or anything. Oh, that's it, sick. It will always pogo now. Um, so it's pretty good for the most part. Like, it's a really good neutral tool, and you can actually chase just down air into down air into down air if you can keep yeah. reading the DIs. If not, you could always just cancel, like, end the combo with an up air, safest move, you could find a forward air or a back air off of it. But it's a very oppressive move because of how safe it is. Yeah. Because you always get the pogo for free. Yeah, exactly. Just simply the fact that it can bounce on shield makes it so she can mix up with back air, air. Like, she can drift however she wants and she'll have an option to cover. Mm -hmm. Which is Some, really nice. Something I was talking about to Uxer earlier, because he was asking me on um, tips, and he was asking me about risk and reward, and he, I was explaining to him to like consider like where you are doing a risky option mm -hmm. and the deficit, like the income, like where you are both in health and uh, in yeah, positioning if, game. If you can take the hit and not die or get comboed into oblivion, and the risk reward is there, 
using that option isn't a, isn't a bad thing. Yeah, because he was talking about it in in reference of Uppy. Like, mm -hmm. it, like if I I was giving him two examples. Like if you're at like if you're stock up and you can get you can maybe get an Uppy while they're like sharking like while they're above you. Yeah. Like you you can risk it there. But if you both are at like 90 90 and you're just trying to get a kill. You if you to, miss, you die. Do you have to consider like? Do you really want to lose your stock here? If is this that worthy, or do you yeah. think you can find the stock somewhere? <laughs> that was nasty. That, oh. the, the reaction on the reverse hit of I believe it was back air. Nair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the reverse hit of Nair. Nuts. Insane. Yep. Yeah. Just like the fact that uh, Nair works like that in this game really makes it so that uh, Donkey Kong can do so much with his uh, with his Donkey Punch. It's so good now. Ooh, is so this is the hard part about DK here is getting out of disadvantage. Getting out of disadvantage, uh -oh. but more importantly, getting back onto stage, especially against a character like ZSS. We he missed the the down B there for the spike, but he can get so much more off of that. That's so much more safe. Like just that that mm. But like doing your um, your laser, your down smash mm -hmm. right there, perfect option. Because if you trade, it doesn't matter because right. you could still hunt him down after that. It's, it's the same thing as getting an up B without any of the risk. Yeah. Which is up 2 0, right? Yeah. Yes. Cool. So yeah. Um, going to game three, I think Min Min needs to slow the game down so much. I think that's what he's missing. Because the game is going way too fast for his own liking. Yeah. Especially for a character like him. Because although DK has so many good like options, he's still overall a relatively defensive character. Like, he, he still needs to find that opening, unlike ZSS, who can break an opening. Exactly. ZSS so, has a lot of ways to dance around you as opposed to DK needing one really good uh, opening to nice. The way that I would explain it is that DK needs to play neutral a lot more than ZSS. Oh, no! I think he upbeat it. Or, or he, he tried to reverse it. He tried to reverse it. Yeah, it's, I, I noticed it's kind of hard to do reverse up B in this game. Or not necessarily hard, just different. Yeah. I think a big part of that is just the buffer system in this game. Right. It's very different, as well as like sometimes, again, the game just eats your moves and it's frustrating. Yeah. But it is what it is. These players are still making it work regardless. Ooh, that was beautiful reason. And those are his first two, too. Like, yep. he, the, all that was just off of his mix up. That was really good. So he had, didn't really have to worry. He could have honestly done another upper there. Or up though. Ooh, beautiful. Oh. Yeah, the, right there, that was the, the pogo into the upper, as I said yeah. earlier. It's because, like, again, like, the character apparently needs it. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said uh, earlier, you when he's uh, when Dark Kong's up being onto ledge, since you can't just snap ledge, you, you just paralyze it, yeah. and then just get into the free, even if you trade. And free he did that right there. Free down smash into either up B, depending on the percent, if, it's, if he holds in, or usually, in the case of DK, simply because his recovery vertically isn't that great, just... Down B. Easy spike. But Ooh, this this is where Donkey Kong go crazy. Ooh. Donkey Kong, once he gets that, that one combo, especially off a of cargo kill, it, yep. it can feel like it's over sometimes. Just does so well on those uh I hate that it sends in like that. I don't think that that that's not it. I don't think uh the whip should send in like that. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's kinda but like it's overkill. This character, the way that I would like tell the devs to balance this character is like if you have a speedy character like this you either have to make it so that they nice. struggle to kill or they struggle uh, and they struggle to live or you have to find a, a flaw in their gameplay and i feel like yeah, zss exactly. does not have a flaw in their gameplay at all she just does everything well whatever you want to do like the only thing is grab but she can pressure your shield so well without needing to grab anyway you're, you're pretty much in the same spot at all times mm -hmm. So even if she can't grab you, she's still whittling down your shield, still putting pressure, especially with the pogo stick, keeping her red in your face, or mm -hmm. keeping ZSS right in the other player's face. And one thing I noticed how Min Main was playing that, he was not sitting in shield like the first two games. He was, I wasn't paying enough attention to say he was 100% whiff punishing better, but he was not allowing Ookser to just, okay, you're gonna be in shield, I'm gonna press buttons on your shield. Yeah, he was doing a really good job of calling out options that were coming in uh, as as they were coming in. Like exactly. approach options, basically. He was doing a good job of calling them out and then comboing off of them, fighting uh, options, and then killing. More importantly, killing. I think yeah. the, the difference was that Min Main, every single time he got a punish, almost every single time he killed with it. He, he, he did really well at simply, okay, this is a scenario where I can grab in the air, I'm going to 
combo you off it, get an extra 40%. Mm -hmm. Instead of just trying to juggle him. Yeah. Oh yeah, also you could grab barrel. It's a pretty useless thing. But yeah. then Main has found a, re a way to use it somehow. It, it's good when it's coming in at a 45 degree angle, simply because it covers so much space. Yeah. Nice. That forward tilt so nice. good. First grab, second grab. Can't do it anymore. Has to finish the, the grab throw. Yeah. I min, Something that Minion was doing, I don't think he could do it at this high percent, but he was doing back throw into like an aerial mm -hmm. because it's at that point, it's a mix up. They can get out of it with DI or like air dodging. Yeah, if they but, hold in towards DK, you can hit them with the back grab. Yes, mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. But like, it's just such a good mix up and it puts the other, your opponent in a really bad spot. Surprised it didn't spike. That was, that was odd. Right, also, another thing, Kickflip now has a longer lasting hitbox oh, no. and a spike box. <laughs> so it, it lasts for kind of a dummy amount of time. <laughs> I kind of want to play ZSS in this game. Now. You should, before they nerf it. It's, uh, do it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Like last tournament, we, we let uh, Min Main run rampant that tournament. Yeah, with Min Main. <laughs> yeah, with Min Main. Well, good use of the barrel. Honestly, I haven't seen many people find a use for this barrel. It, it's one of those things where, ooh, nice. Ah, oh, mixed up the DI at the very end. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of those things where, it's like Wolf Laser. It takes up a lot of space, it's really nice, and then they're pretty much, you can narrow down the options that the other player is going to take. Yeah. Versus not using Barrel, and it's nice. Mm -hmm. right, we're seeing a lot of juggling right now. Nothing really too fancy. He's just gonna start looking for the kill. Especially with that uh, grab, that grab yep. will just combo into something that will kill for sure. Using DK's swordy limbs to help. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot more F tilt and a lot more up tilts just to keep the SS out, and it's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Base. Gaming. Good up tilts. I, I don't know if up tilt is still negative on shield in this game, I'm gonna be honest. The angle it sends at. Makes me think it is, but it would be pretty fucked up <laughs> if it still is. I don't think it is because Uxu was telling me, talking to me about it, and the dev has been just ultra boosting DK for quite a while now. Okay. Yeah, because it was so. just like, out of all the things you're going to give DK, you're, you're not going to change his negative on hit moves. That would be really funny. That would be. Yeah, no, we're just seeing a lot of neutral right now. ZSS, I think this is where ZSS struggles a lot in this game, is just that this deficit is very hard to climb. Because yeah. ZSS, what she does really well... Ooh, nice. That was a really good kick clip. What she does really well is overwhelm you into a mistake to death. But if even if you're overwhelmed, if you don't make a mistake, she can't really find that kill. Yeah, exactly. she doesn't have two... She does have kill confirms and pretty good ones, but Uxer struggles to find them a lot of the times. Because he never really puts himself in the position to... Uh, use these uh, kill confirm and kill options. It, it's the other side of the coin of the idea of if you just sit in shield, um, she can't really oppress you. It's pretty much just... It's 2-2, two -two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Go um, ahead. I, I'm trying to figure out a good way to word it. It's the other side of the coin of the idea of she can dance around your shield, but neutral or the game isn't really moving more than that spot because of her grab. So if she's in a deficit and she needs to actually get the game moving in her direction, um, it w it's difficult simply because she can't deal with the idea of shield. Yeah, that's such an interesting concept too because it's kind of hard to really understand that and grasp that just by watching the game. It's something you have to really sit down and really think about for quite yeah. a while. Almost like how chess players just theorize openings for like their entire lives. Exactly. <laughs> the game isn't moving forward. Um, and I think with Smash, it's kind of hard to see that. I think yeah. with other games, it's a lot easier to see that. Like, especially with, like, uh, more team-based games, where you have to do something to make the game progress. Exactly. Um, I'm a Valorant player, so I'm just going to compare it to Valorant. Like, when you're in a 3v4, and you know you just need to take a fight just to hope to God that you can make something happen, yeah. those are the kind of things that you really have to start considering. Like, if you have someone at ledge, and you always have someone at ledge, and you just keep ledge trapping them, that's cool, you have them on ledge and you're ledge trapping them. Yeah. But you're not progressing the game because you're not getting the stock, you're not uh, forcing them into more situations, you're not conditioning them. Exactly. You're, like, you're not doing anything other than just staling the game. Yeah, waiting on ledge, you're still getting ledge trapped. There, you could make the other person lose patience and then that's your opening. Ooh, that, ooh, that nice. was, I think that was bad DI. 
Yeah. I want to be generous and say that's bad DI, <laughs> but the cynical in me thinks that that's just that, it just, that's just, it dumb. just kills. That's just dumb. <laughs> that's really funny. Um, yeah, it's, it's just one of those things where stalling on ledge isn't really a tactic that that uh, progresses the game. It's more so just something that stalls it, and then you mm. wait for the opening due to the other player ledge trappings and patience. Yeah, that was a really amazing up smash too. Because Donkey Kong up smash does not cover the entire ledge, so he knew that he was going to do yeah. what you get up or attack. But this Nair is putting in work. Ooh, nice. Ooh, okay, Woo! okay. That was kind of crazy. That was a little clean, honestly. Ooh, nope. Just going for a random up yet. I'm not entirely nice. sure what that was about. He used his jump, he's used his Oh. I do like going up high there because like you're dead either way. It's your best hope because you do not want to go low against DSS here. Yeah, you you make it so they at least have to work for it. Yeah. As well as just such an unorthodox Ooh. method, but yeah, that happens sometimes. Yeah. It is what it is. The you... hold in on back throw, <laughs> the flip kick. <laughs> Honestly, if I was Minwin, I wouldn't be too worried here, just simply because uh, ZSS is very light. Yeah. It's like, you, you you blow up this character when you finally get in as DK. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, I wouldn't be too worried. Now I would, though. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. getting combo to oblivion, like, okay, this is kind of scary. <laughs> I noticed Luxor grabbed and the tether didn't come out, so I, I was just wrong. It's just like, she has a normal grab, that's insane. Yeah, they did give her normal grab back instead of having a tether. Which is, which is good. Yeah. Because, like, if she had a tether Ooh, grab... Holding so out on dumb. that. Oh. Yeah, or, that's unfortunate. DI is very important right now. Or not holding out, just the uh, not doing the melee DI, and I imagine it was more so the ultimate DI. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard because, like, a lot of these moves sometimes just ascend you in very unexpected ways. Yeah. Um, and so, like, being on top of that, it's a Ooh, reaction beautiful. game. That's stock. <laughs> Beautiful. And we get a pop off. Three, two. And their flip kick. Broken in every game. <laughs> Some things don't change. Uxir going up 